Here is the final part of this Madden 17 gameplay between my Tennessee Titans going against the Tampa Bay Bucks. Shout out to EA for paying for my trip to record this early Madden 17 footage. If you've been following along with the first, second, and third quarter, you're going to know that I am not voicing over this video. I want to focus on how good the in-game commentary is in Madden 17. Everyone else is probably just voicing over their part in their videos, and I did that for a lot of this as we give up a touchdown. Um, but I want to focus on the in-game commentary because it is really good. If you want to see me commentating on other games, I did that for all the other Madden 17 videos. There's a ton that we put out. And if you want to see those, subscribe to Madden Daily, like this video. Also, check out the first, second, and third quarter. If you haven't already, link to that should be in the description below. Enjoy. And then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. The Buccaneers defense, we watch them get set to go. Their secondary, their whole defensive unit really struggling. They've given up three touchdown passes. That last drive was dominant through the air against them. They found something that was working for them on offense, and they just kept going to it, just kept throwing the football. So that means an entire overhaul from the defensive side. They need more pressure on the quarterback and obviously need tighter coverage on the receivers. See if they can get that tighter coverage. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll give the Titans a first down. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. The strategy would tell you, run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. DeMarco Murray, kiss him goodbye. Touchdown, Titans. DeMarco Murray, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who's a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field. Punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, give up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. Let's see if they can figure that out right here. Jameis to throw it. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Call it a gain of three, and it's a second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And, and oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. Picked off by the linebacker, Avery Williamson. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. 
so they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. Here's Mariota. Oh, he stays up. And they get to Mariota here as he's dropped on the sack. William Golston coming hard that time. He's able to run him down for a loss of 12. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Third and long here for Mariota. Green Beckham has it over the middle. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That one good for 21 yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. That was a nice catch. And if the goal was to get in the field goal range, it certainly appears that they accomplished that. Well, and sometimes that's what you dial up in these situations, right, when you want three? Well, if the goal was to get into field goal territory, even though it will be a long attempt, I think they accomplished that. And sometimes you have plays for that. It's not always a first down when you want three. Get it. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And all oh, the gamble fails. It's incomplete. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. Well, there's two sides here. I guess you could pinpoint and look at the offense and say, oh, man, what a disaster. Hey, the defense, though, they came through. Preparation is the key to everything. And when you're on the defensive side of the ball and in special teams meetings, you prepare for plays like this. And in this case, they were actually able to win it. Over the middle to Evans. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. A first down throw for Winston. Now a desperation throw deep to... And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Dante died. 28 yards. And the Bucs are able to cut into that deficit. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. And this one through the uprights and good. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. That'll be taken in the end zone. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him turn. <laughs> oh, I wanted to crib this so bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is how we're going to end it. If you did like the video, subscribe to Madden Daily for more great Madden 17 content. If you want to get better at Madden 17, go to MaddenDaily.com. There's no better place to take your Madden 17 game to that next level.